Hello, I'm Ben. Hello, I'm James. And we are two thirds of Biffy Clyro. And you're watching a music blog, yeah? I'm Ben. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambient. I would like to welcome you to our interview with Biffy Clyro. Hello. 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 How are you both doing today? Doing well. Very well. Doing happy to be back in Toronto. Yeah, we're so excited. I believe it was snowing just a couple of days ago, yep. so we're very happy that the sun is out. Uh-huh. You some just of, tweet some of the, the Scotsmen storm. brought the, the sunny weather, which <laughs> never happened. Unlikely. <laughs> Didn't for you now. How has this tour been? Because you haven't been here in a while. It's been amazing. Um, we started in Vegas at what seems like months ago, but it was only, it was only two, a couple two of weeks, weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think every show has surpassed our expectations so far. There's been more people that have sung louder than we thought. They, I've known all the songs, so it's been amazing, yeah. You were given a Biffy Clyro cutting board the other day. Beware, beware. Why? Yeah. In Detroit, why not? I mean, <laughs> my question was That's a why. a good question. My question was why have you not had, had one of these before? before? Yeah. Why, why are we not getting one in Toronto? I know, exactly. <laughs> it was a really nice touch from uh, St Andrews Hall in, in um, Detroit. Uh, really, really nice So gift. the venue gave you one? They did, yeah. That's yeah. cool. We, we, um, we arm wrestled for it at one. That bit, that <laughs> bit is, is false, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, it's in my bag I anyway. Just let them have it. <laughs> But yeah, nice touch. It's nice when you get gifts, and we've got what we believe to be the, I think, the best fans in the world. And occasionally we get some really nice gifts. We got some cans of Iron Brew for our birthday, which is a, a fizzy, sugary drink from back home, which okay. will rot all the teeth in your head. Nobody but knows it, ingredients. It, it tastes amazing. <laughs> What have been some of the coolest things fans have given you? Because I saw they even gave you this really big Biffy banner recently. Yeah, yeah, that's like, That would have taken a lot of time. I know. That, yeah, some People lovely do stuff spend for that. time doing... There's a girl who does some amazing pencil drawings um, that, that are mind-blowing. But this sort of level that you're looking at it and you think it looks like a photograph. Um, people that spend hours on doing them and, and posting them on Twitter and in Japan. James always gets a lot of good gifts in Japan because he's like a god over there because of his, his ginger hair. <laughs> and maybe they just think a little silly. I think that's no, I think, I think that's I think the, 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 the flags are, is a nice one. We get flags from from different people at, at different audiences around the world, and we've ended up with them all in our, pla- our practice room back home. Oh, so it's kind of nice. It feels it like, looks amazing. It feels like they're there with us in the room, which when we're back and home. We feel so travelled and cultured. Yeah, yeah. For a minute. <laughs> yeah. You look around. You're like, Look at all the places we've been. Yeah, no, look at this. Where's that flag from? No, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> you posted this photograph and it was just a drawer full of remotes. And oh. there were like so many remotes, but none of them work. None of them work. Uh, was that on the tour bus? That's like one the of the tour bus. You, you, you won't believe this, okay? So, in in the this sounds luxurious now. In the bunks, there are these little fold down televisions. Yeah. That are, they're completely useless because you're never going to watch the television in your bunk. And they have remotes for them, <laughs> but you can touch them. Like so, there's all these remotes, and they're in this drawer in the tour bus. And we thought it'd be funny to put a wee picture of that online. It cracked me up. It works. Good. Yeah, good. good job. Good. good. <laughs> have you been watching anything to kind of make those dull drives a little less yeah. boring? Yeah, yeah. We've been watching a show called Chef's Table. Chef's Table. It's an HBO thing. Isn't it? Netflix. Yeah. yeah it's um, really good. Yeah, it's really good fun. We, we watched all kinds of stuff. Um, and we watched um, Stranded with a Million Dollars. <laughs> yeah. MTV <laughs> production, it's fantastic. We, we, we like highbrow television. Yeah, we, li- um, we like a lot of trash. We like trash. We, like, we, 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 trash. we do. We mix up the trash with some highbrow. The chef table's a highbrow. Then we've got Stanley with a million dollars, or like Geordie Shore, or kicking it's, and screaming. I don't yeah, know. it's just something to wind down. You know, yeah. we don't we don't really watch that many movies at the moment. I mean, we do watch we do watch a lot of movies, just not. Not so far in America, we haven't watched any movies, but um, it's kind of fun being on the bus. We've got a full bus, there's 12 guys in the bus, so we have a little bit of a lark about and a little mm-hmm. bit of a laugh. And so far, so good. Well, it's an exciting time because after this tour, it was announced that this summer you're going to be opening for Guns N' Roses. Yes. I mean, I had to bring this up you because did, it is just such a Please cool do. thing. Did, we, you guys, did you guys freak out when you got that news? <laughs> really yeah. What freaked happened? Out. We really freaked well, out. Well, we've, been, we've been after that for a while, haven't we? We've been chasing it. It's, it's not... Um, I mean, it's one of those ones, you never think the band's going to get back. You never think in a million years you're going to get that opportunity. Mm. It was such a huge dream. Yeah, but we've spent the last few years kind of infiltrating Guns N' Roses to a degree. <laughs> so we should have known this was coming. Mm-hmm. Like we took Duff's band, um, Moving Papers. Walking Papers. Walking Papers. <laughs> I almost got that wrong. Took them out in Europe and, and we treated them well. And um, Simon shared the stage in Glasgow with Slash as well. And he made pals with him. So we've been kind of working our way Throwing into Throwing little hints yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> and then the name must have come up and they've gone, oh, Biffy guys. And then, yeah, we got it. It clearly works. Yeah, we're happy. Well, we have to discuss Ellipsis' latest record release. Yeah. The cover of that is you three in the fetal position naked, but take me behind the scenes. Was that a little bit weird to photograph? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we knew it would be when Simon first suggested the idea. We, we were like, of course. Yeah, we know. cool. 
can follow that man into battle, so we'll try anything. But it was a little bit like, okay, okay. And uh, I think I drew the the short straw. I don't know how, so I ended up going. We had to shoot it individually just to get the right Mm -hmm. composition. So um, I went first in a massive big warehouse with 100 people in it. And all the cameras. All the cameras. um, I mean, to be fair, there was a little bit of privacy, but um, there's the usual boys larking about. There's you can I'm sure you can imagine the jokes. But then when we actually shot the picture, we all the jokes kind of stopped, mm. and we were all really struck by how um, vulnerable it was. Mm. Um, we'd never we've seen each other in every position possible, apart yeah. from that one, and there was something really. You know, that? I'm, I'm not getting. I'm not crying. I'm just cold. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so emotional. It's okay. <laughs> but but there, there was something quite emotional about it, you know. And you know, wasn't it? No, it, well, was, it, was, it was. It was. Like, uh, yeah, he's not joking because. Um, yeah, because me and Simon are just, we're just looking at the screen and the pictures come up on. And, um, obviously, being James's twin, I have seen him in every possible position and uh, different states of undress over the years. <laughs> and um, it was really arresting to see your twin brother just in the fetal position naked. And it wasn't sexy and it wasn't cool. It was, you know, it was really. You look at it, and it's a vulnerable. stunning image. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. So it made, it made me and Simon, it made our go a little bit easier. We're like, we know this is going to look really, really cool. And yeah, I hope nobody thinks it's meant to be sexy because it definitely no, is. <laughs> <no. laughs> Take so. note. <laughs> I'm trying to do a little quick fire round with you, so okay. just say whatever comes to Here mind first. Go, All right, what's Peanuts. the wall? <laughs> what's the wallpaper on your phone? Uh, mine's my cat, um, Douglas. Mine's yeah. myself, my wife at Ben's wedding. Okay. So it is. That's, that's a lovely that's picture. That's very sweet. Know, it is, it is. Who would you love to see in concert that you've yet to? Guns and Roses. No, that you didn't get to. But you've yet to. Well, oh, you've right. yet to. Well, this lineup of Guns N' Roses. The yeah, I mean, lineup I, I, of Guns I've got to go for that. I would have said Nirvana, but that's not going to happen. So, Guns N' Roses. What's the worst job you've had? McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say is the cheapest in the band? Cheapest? Yeah. Ben. <laughs> what do you, what do you no. mean? What do you mean tight? Like tight with money? Yep. I don't know. Oh, no, that's not me. It's Simon. <laughs> Definitely. I'm the most generous. Come on. Okay. What's your favourite cartoon? He-Man. Um, mask. Okay, and the last one. Which curse word do you use the most? Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. You jumped on that! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's strap everything up. Is there anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing just parting words? Well, thank you. I believe you guys have covered us a lot as a band and we yeah. thank you for yeah. the support. Thank we we thank for everybody at home for watching and listening and following the band. For buying the record, for downloading the record, for stealing the record, whatever you did, as long as you listened to it, we love you. And thank you for subscribing to our music blog. Yeah! <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. That was perfect. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank Thanks you. for having pleasure. us. It's my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.